to permanently install these blocks as well as the frame or sill and then temporarily put the cover on. Uh, got everything uh, in polyurethane. So that locker. Uh, let me see. Then we got the sill. I used two stainless steel screws on the side and the rest is just screwed out of view into the side closet. Then I still need to install the cover. The cover has some polyurethane on the inside, not on the outside because I don't want to have it interfere with the spray glue. At a later stage I'll fill this up with some insulation as well and that's at the time that I'll install this panel. That is one. I kept a small opening between the wood frame and the metal skin the vehicle uh, to avoid any uh, issues later on. The cover will be uh, covered with fabric and that's in, in a grey color and that accents I think quite nicely with the, the white of the hard maple. It, it's really very smooth. I'm a bit focused on the ceiling. Uh, now I've got more or less every part of the sides and the front here finished, well, except for the front. Uh, so after that, after that, I'll be able to start thinking about attaching the ceiling. Uh, but first, uh, I have to make a cover for the the cabin curtain. What I'll do is uh, transfer the, the curve to it. Yeah, Joey. I have to refer the curve to two half inch plywood and now we're going to do some sawing. So now I'm attaching these two blocks where it's attached to the uh, curtain rail. Okay, let me see. That's, that's okay. I'm starting with a new project. And let me see, 
what I have. Um, it's an exterior table that's connected to the back of my toilet. So it's at the location of the uh, sliding door. I'll open the sliding door and it can fall down that table. And that's about this, this size. Use uh, two pieces of uh, an eighth of an inch uh, plywood. This is only one, but there's another one. And then I'll be putting several pieces of uh, hardwood maple on top of it. I'll glue that on there. I got a drawing and this is just part, part of the drawing. And I'll be putting an inlay on it. What I did is uh, have a piece of walnut, more or less the same thickness, uh, put it on top of here. So that makes it easy because then I only can use one piece instead of working with the big piece of wood. And I have to cut this out and then insert it and glue it in. Now I'm going to make four holes, one for the outside line and then three for the inserts. And now I'll be trying to get these small pieces first. So, let me see. That's one. That should be one. Okay. Let's see. Aye, aye. That looks nice. Okay, that's my artwork. So, the first thing I have to do is to remove this piece. Okay, there we go. The top piece I should remove. Well, that's glued on, but that's dark brown as you can see. That's the walnut. So, when that's sanded off, I would either Put this piece on top, so I saw something out, including a piece of what I just inserted, so that it flows together. Uh, or I put this double piece approximately here, that has to come together. That's the next, uh, that's the next step. Now I'll let this dry and then uh, when it's dried I'll start some sanding and then I can continue with the next part. So now I have that flattened, so now I can start with the next one. That's what's gonna look like. Okay, got it temporarily attached. Gonna do the same thing. 
take the uh, scroll saw and saw it out. Okay. I hope this worked. Okay. Okay. Then I had this as an insert. Let's see. Looks good. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.